sit, right. sit, sit. Phil and Gloria Jean Hubble's little dog Milo has lived an active and healthy 12 years with not too much to worry about. The biggest long-term issue has just been keeping his weight down. He was about, I think, 13 pounds. He was, he was pretty big and uh, ended up losing over two. That's more than 15% of his body weight, making him the biggest four-pawed loser in a weight loss competition for pets. We had no idea he was going to win when he did. We use their one-year body weight, and that's often very accurate. And then what we do is take that weight and crunch calories based on what that pet should weigh at that ideal weight. Veterinarian Ken Lambrecht started the program at his clinic in Madison to challenge his four-legged patients into getting healthy. But it's not just for dogs. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Here you go, baby. Oh, I know. The cat guy put his own little companion, Bug, on it. The Association for Pet Obesity Prevention estimates nearly 58% of cats and 53% of dogs are overweight, and obesity in pets comes with the same risks as in people. Diabetes, uh, arthritis, uh, hormonal problems are all, are all much worse when the pet is overweight. Pop, pop. Affecting quality and quantity of life. Lambert says an animal just a few pounds over its ideal weight won't live as long. But losing takes a commitment that starts with a hard look at what your pet eats. Pick up that bag of food. Look at how many calories per cup. And exercise. Even if they're just walking, uh, like humans, they have to start out where they're just doing some moderate exercise before you build them up. At Ruffin' It Resort in Madison, activity is not hard to find during doggy daycare. The idea is to just get the dog moving, whether it's playing fetch or even something as simple as a bubble machine can really get your dog's heart rate going physically uh, good for them as well as the emotional mental stimulation. The secret to a healthy pet not far from that of its owner. You figure out what your dog really enjoys doing and then you partner that with yourself and what you enjoy doing. It's a balanced uh, ration and that there's not too many treats, kind of like our candy and beer and all the other stuff that's not really very good calories. The hardest part, whether human, canine, or feline, can be sticking to that commitment. That's our ultimate goal. If we don't get there, but we get closer, we're still winning. While Milo met his goal, it has been a few years, and he's put a little weight back on, so it's back to work again. It was amazing to us that he did. And since then, we just had to work at doing this, so that's why he's going to do it again. A year-round, lifelong commitment to his health. In Madison, Jennifer Cleasy, 27 News.